from beautiful Spain. If you follow my channel, you know that I live in London for 10 years and I work as a freelance photographer over there. But right now I'm in Spain and I think you can tell that from the beautiful intro I recorded. I'm from north of Spain, so all of that is north coast. So please comment below if you've been because everyone goes to the south and yes, it's hotter in the south, but north coast is so green and blue and mountains everywhere and it's stunning. Anyway, let's go to the topic of today's video, which is about how to stand out as a photographer and keep relevant. So many things have changed. It's not enough with posting few photos on Instagram and that's it. The good thing is that we live in the best time ever to make money with your camera, with photo and video, creating content for others. The good thing about social media is that there are so many new brands, new businesses, and so many individuals becoming a freelancer. Think about yoga teachers, personal trainers, coaches of any kind, artists. The list is massive, and you can target as many as you want to help them with their content for their website or social media networks. So you can make a lot of money. The next thing you need, and mostly as a beginner, is exposure to be discovered by potential clients. And let me tell you that you have the power to do that on your own with social media. So you're gonna have to use it cleverly to be able to put yourself out there. You are in charge of the exposure you're gonna get for your business. You are in charge of creating trust with potential clients. You are in charge of how you want your work to look online and about showing your skills for potential clients to see you. So don't waste that because posting just random photos is not gonna do it. There are so many amazing creatives out there doing Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube, and they create amazing videos showing their skills as a photographer and filmmaker. If you know a bit about video, you're gonna get more clients because clients need content in form of video and photo, both. So they prefer to book just one person to do everything rather than having to hire a photographer and then a filmmaker. I know this very well because in London, my clients love that I do video as well because they need both. Think about why TikTok is so popular and Instagram and YouTube are competing with TikTok now for short form content because everyone engages more with video than with just photo. So video is gonna give you more clients and more exposure online. And hear me out because you're gonna be like, Laura, I don't wanna be in front of the camera. I don't wanna talk to the camera. I'm not good enough. I struggled at the beginning to make my YouTube channel. It was for many years I wanted to do a YouTube channel and I was so insecure, I didn't wanna do it. And here I am. And you know how many new clients YouTube gave me because it gave me exposure. Then also I create trust with my clients because I'm teaching photography and they also see my personality. And when someone is gonna book you, they want to book someone, they think they know better, right? So if they see you online, your personality, how you work, your behind the scenes, they're gonna be more likely to book you rather than to other photographer that is just sharing photos online is gonna create more trust. So you don't need to do long form content. I know it's a lot of work. Maybe you are an introvert and you don't want to do it. Do TikTok or Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts. It's less intimidating and you don't even have to talk. Maybe you can do voiceovers and things like that. But if you want to be seen online and you want to be discoverable and create trust and get more clients and grow, you're gonna need to up your game and get into video. Even if it's short form, as I told you. You can have free exposure worldwide free marketing. We never used to have this years ago without social media. And you're gonna be able to grow your business in the best way if you keep there. Otherwise, potential clients are gonna prefer to book someone else who has the advantage of knowing the video. And I'm gonna put you the perfect example of adaptation. I had to do it myself as well. I know I'm on YouTube, I'm doing client work, but I had to get into short form content. I don't do a lot, and now I'm gonna have to adapt because short form content is here to stay. And I can see from other creators and photographers and filmmakers how much more exposure are getting than me because they are killing it. They are doing amazing work with the TikToks, Instagram Reels, shorts as well in YouTube. So please get into it because you're gonna have a massive advantage. And if you love photography, you're gonna love video because you can get incredibly creative, way more than photography. And it's not gonna be that hard because you know already about framing it's gonna help you a lot, your photography skills with video skills. Video, you don't need to do a masterpiece. As I told you, just some behind the scenes and that's it. So for example, my intro. What do you think about the intro? I mean, 
there are incredible people out there and creatives. I'm just learning. I always tell you this on my channel, but during the intro, I was experimenting a lot with angles, with frames. I love experimenting with different gear and I just love the process. And I also enjoy a lot choosing the music. And many people ignore music. And as you may know, I should be music artist in London. I love music, so for me, it's an incredible part of my creative process. And music is branding as well. I'm gonna tell you that in a bit, a bit more. But in this intro, I use three tracks and sound effects. The sound of the seagulls. Of the sea waves and even the engine of my car. So all these layers of music, the cinematic music to convey feelings and the sound effects is gonna create an incredible intro, TikTok, reel, whatever you wanna call it. Something you would need is a music licensing platform. So you don't have problems with copyright with your content and you are able to choose your own music rather than selecting just the music within the app that you cannot share anywhere else. So that is gonna limit you a lot. So one of the platforms I use since the very beginning of my channel, and it happens to be today's sponsor, is Audio. And I particularly love Audio because they work with incredible artists and the music is insane. So think about brands like Adidas, Netflix and Toyota, they've been working with Audio. So you have an idea of the quality of music you can get over there. And as a creator, something you really need is good filters when you are searching for music. I took hours to select the music of my intro. Something that helps me a lot is searching by mood because you're gonna have to select the mood of your video and convey emotions in your audience. So for example, in my intros, normally I select cinematic music and rock, that's my style. Yours can be jazz, folk, rock, whatever it is. So audio offers right now a 70% off with the code SAFE70 in their annual subscription. So you can get over 6,000 tracks, over 30,000 sound effects for less than $60 per year, which is like less than $5 per month, which is the cheapest you can find online. Or otherwise, you can choose a lifetime subscription. You pay once and that's it. Obviously it's more pricey, but you pay once. So if you are in the long game with this, which you should if you are in the creative industry, you pay once and you don't worry anymore. And that one you have a 10% off with my code LAURABC10 through the link below. You have to click that link to be able to catch these discounts. And thank you so much Audio for sponsoring this video because I love their music. Go back to my intro place, not just to check the music, which is from audio, but also the sound effects I used and how I build the sequences to create an intro. That could perfectly be repurposed for TikTok or Instagram Reels, for instance, obviously in vertical, but you get my point. It doesn't matter if you just know photography for now. I encourage you to learn video as well, and I would be very happy to do tutorials about that. So many of you already asked me how I edit in Final Cut Pro, who I do the videos, so I would be happy to create this content as well. Because photographers nowadays, I'm sorry to say, they need video skills. For client work, for exposure, and for marketing. This is gonna give you an amazing advantage. Learn it slowly, slowly, and comment below if you want specific videos, because I would be very happy to help you, what I humbly know, because I'm not an expert, I'm still learning myself, <laughs> but I'm getting better slowly, slowly, because I love doing it. So subscribe to my channel if you like this content, and like the video, because it helps me a lot, and I will see you very soon. Big love.